Hi, this is Ben. I'm here with Noah, and today we're going to create a solution in Visual Studio 2008. Typically, developers will create their solutions based off of the project file itself. But Noah, you have a, an alternative uh, approach that you would prefer. Right. I think for more flexibility, it's best to think in terms of your solution that will most likely have multiple projects. And from that perspective, you really want to start with a blank solution. And under other project types, when you create a new project, you have Visual Studio Solutions and Blank Solution as an option. This gives you the most flexibility. We're going to call our solution Solution Setup. And because I am using Ankh SVN, that's A N K H S V N, uh, which is a free product and a great one. Uh, I have this additional checkbox when I'm creating a new project to add to Subversion. Uh, I'll check that, I'll click OK, and it prompts me uh, to mark the solution as managed by Subversion, which I will do. Down in the window at the bottom, you'll see the two files that are affected by that, and uh, this is also an Ankh SVN window, and I'll just check this in now so that we have a good baseline to work from. So the pending changes window is probably my favorite Ankh feature, Noah. Uh, and I, I'd like to see that you're actually committing your changes as you as you go along. So now at this point we have just the solution file created. Why don't we add our two projects to the solution? I think we're first going to start off with our ASP.NET MVC web application and following the our naming conventions I think we're going to start this off with the solution name dot web to represent our web layer. Everything's going to fall in line now. And now, as you can see, we're prompted to add a test if we'd like to. And of course we will. We'll continue with the same naming convention, solution setup.test. And we're going to use just the default unit test, which comes with Visual Studio's MS test. Visual Studio is now creating our two projects. And you can see from the pending changes window, we have a number of files to commit again. And we will create, uh, or excuse me, we will commit these uh, right now, again, just to have a good baseline for our web and our test applications in case we need to do any rollbacks later. Great. So, Noah, what I'd like to do, once these are committed, maybe we can just see what we have sitting on the file system now. Here's our folder, Solution Setup, and within that, our solution file. That was part of our initial check-in. And each project now has its own folder, nice, uh, clean layout, and I can open the web folder and I have all my web files located there. Nice, clean, flexible layout. That's great. So we're going to wrap now and with our next episode we're going to talk about external dependencies. Thanks. Thank you.